What is up traders? Jim here, owner and founder of at Big Pips Only, bringing you the weekly market breakdown from Sunday, May 3rd to Friday, June 4th. Welcome traders uh, back again to weekly market breakdown. So again, always going to start out DXY. Okay, uh, we are actually going to start here on the weekly chart again. We are at that key 90 level. Okay, so really heading into the week looking at pairs uh, tomorrow. Okay, it's the US holiday Memorial Day. So there's going to be a lot less volume, especially on USD pairs. So I'm most likely not even going to be trading tomorrow. Enjoy my holiday. Okay, remember what Memorial Day is about. It's about the fallen uh, service members who gave their lives for the country, right? And all the, all the freedoms that we have today. So, you know, hug your loved ones, enjoy your day off, but try to remember what the holiday is actually about. Um, so, again, I most likely won't even be trading tomorrow anyway. Um, and, and we'll roll nicely into the week, waiting really uh, for a break above or below this 90 level for the market whenever it decides which way it wants to go so if we can get some clear support here on this level uh you know i will i will look for for dxy to push higher and everything usd xxx you know we would buy uh and everything xxx usd we would sell so again we are going to wait for a clear definitive break or below this level as you can see here we still are pushing down we did wick above the level, but we came back in. So again, what I will do heading into this week, we will either wait for a definitive, where is, we'll wait for a definitive break up and a retest, and then we will go ahead and buy this market, or we will wait for a clear break below, okay, most likely a few four-hour candles. We may even wait for an eight-hour to hold and break below, and then we will uh, do as follows, right, and hopefully uh, see it roll into those overall daily lows towards 89.20, okay, so um, that is 89.20.09, so that is something uh the two the two options that we will most likely be looking for this week um with with everything that's going on right now uh and we'll discuss this and rolling over into gold with 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 everyone discussing inflation it being all over the news and stuff investors are starting to see this so they may uh become more skeptical of the dollar right we've been saying short the dollar since 102 on the dxy um but this is what happens okay now people are starting to catch on oh hey you know inflation is going to be an issue so what happens right again uh moving in our overall gold weekly bias it is still playing out beautifully from our 1675 1687 five entries it's been a while uh since our initial initial entries march 8th and then when we came back uh and got our re-entries uh march 29th so it has been a while um, been about two months now um, and as you can see we now are approaching um, those next major levels up here so we will look uh, for price especially with everything that's coming up about inflation you know investors are going to be more skeptical they're going to start moving their their money back into these precious metals right because they have that value they have that storage value okay uh, again that's what I think crypto can be um and we'll get into cryptos a little bit later but uh, investors are trying to to maintain their money so they're they've been shifting back into gold with everything that's been going on um and as you can see again here on a weekly you can see that 1900 okay you've got some nice price action off of 1912 uh 1925 as well okay so we're really we're approaching quite a few uh, key levels on gold this week okay as you can see last week a majority was spent on the range until we finally got the breakout and then a retest so um, with what price action is showing currently you know of course we would at least expect it to run back up into 1912 um, where we could then possibly see 
uh, some rejection. But realistically, uh, 1925 for me is going to be uh, most likely the level where I'll possibly look uh, to see, you know, maybe even just a short term uh, sell down. But again, uh, just be mindful that all of this analysis, always remember, this is all formulated um, prior to the market open. So this is a pre-market analysis. This does not by any way mean, shape, or form mean that this is what's going to happen in the market. Price action could change on Sunday, Monday, uh, and, and when I come to trade Tuesday, this, this analysis could be completely different based on what price action is showing now. So just be mindful. Uh, overall, I will most likely continue to just hold the buys, continue to buy this up. Um, but again, if I see something nice, um, you know, maybe a nice break of structure here on like an hour if we run back up um, and then we break this low here, you know, then I might look to wait for a pullback. Uh, and then I would short, you know, maybe off 1900 region. So uh, if I get something definitive like that on an hour time frame or above, I may take a counter trend down on this um, for a for a larger pullback based on a daily. Because um, as you can see, I mean, we really haven't had any sort of major pullback in this run up. You know, we've had um, a little downside. You know, I mean, here was the biggest, you know, 400 pips down, but, um, you know, we've gone 3,000, almost 3,000 up. So, we're going to need some sort of pullback, you know. I would say 1750 would be nice if it came all the way back down there. But again, it might not. We may just continue to rally up because if investors are uncertain about the, the state, of, of the financial affairs and everything they're just going to keep pumping it so it could keep pumping so again overall we will hold the long bias on gold into this week unless there is a nice definitive counter trend trade that appears and again we will use the counter trade um the counter trend trade management for those trades right um continuing here okay we have uh gu so again uh, really, with the DXY being choppy all week, as again, as you can see here on a weekly, we closed the doji back onto the level, right? And as you can see, really just played in the level all week. So all of the all of those pairs did similar things, right? We were trapped in between 141 um, to five and 142.50. So you could have played ping pong if you did. You know, you could have had quite a quite a few pips here. Um, I, I did not play the ping pong game, okay? I did take the buying opportunities that I saw present themselves to me, but I did not take the short opportunities that I saw down um, just because I saw DXY ranging. And overall, I like to try to stick with the higher time frame bias. So it allows me to do what I need to do, go about my day and stuff like that. So again, you know, what I'd like to see, and as you can see here, um, when we broke the weekly level, right, immediately closed back up, we were able to get in here. If you scale down four hour, four hour entries, okay, relative higher time frames, you can see these key weekly levels, right? 142.50, 141, and 143. So we are in this key area. So again, what I'd like to see happen starting this week, I would like to see price stay and close above 141.25, push back in 142.50, actually take the highs 142.410. I'd like to see it clear that. Okay. And really, I'd like to see it run up into that 143.750 uh, level. And then we will again, once we reach that, we will then go ahead and begin looking for possible shorts. But in reality, we could clearly break that and continue the double bottom that I had been calling since March 2020 on the weekly chart. Okay, so if that happens, you know, we could see a run up uh, 145, 146, okay, 147. You know, maybe even all the way back up towards the 150 level on GU. So, um, if that happens, if we do get a breakout above the 143.75 level this week, I'll wait for a breakout, a retest, and then I will possibly look for those those runs maybe up further. Okay, but again, you always got to be mindful of rejections, especially because we are nearing 
those weekly levels now okay very very key level that's why the weekly chart is my favorite chart okay so there's that uh you know gu or gj i'm sorry the similar story the weekly okay we are approaching all of these levels we are in the one um <clears throat> tapping off that high there so we will look for you know possible counter trend shorts and as you can already see here um on friday we had the markup for the counter trend shorts out of that key level right and again it's because it is this key weekly level here okay we could see some sort of rejection off that level so we will be mindful but again until it is definitive okay so really until i get a break here on like an hourly time frame like below 153 um i will probably hold a long bias because what could happen we could literally just be coming to retest this and then continue the run higher right and if you remember if you're in the chat i said it a while ago i said this a few months ago uh when price was at one <clears throat> let me see one 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 forty seven five So when price was down in here back in late February, early March, I said that on a swing on a weekly basis, I'm probably going to hold this entry until 162. So again, you know, that, that was me for hoping and predicting it would break this high and then run up into those next key levels on the weekly chart. So uh, hopefully we can see something dance for us again uh always always look for both scenarios all the scenarios in the market but that's what we'll look for um again you know small counter trend move right here 15 five minute move uh if you're looking at an hourly chart here are your structures here so you would still be again looking for those possible longs out um and again like i said maybe off of this level the 38 lines up there the 50 or you may look for it to come all the way back to the 153.75 level you know maybe tap uh maybe even tap one of these levels you know retest these minor structural points here so um just something to always be mindful of okay when you're trading um looking at counter trends stuff like that always scale out to see the bigger picture okay in the bigger picture right you can see it well really buy 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 right so you want to stick with the trend now i'm not saying you want to buy up here possibly buy highs but stick with that overall trend that do your top down analysis okay so again uh usd cad we uh again tapped into our 20 level that we wanted to see hit over here on a four hour we had price come through beautifully a few times and again rejecting that 121 to five level we would again we'd like to see dxy it's really going to depend on what dxy does because again like the dxy usd cad was trapped in a range last week as well from 120 to 121 to 50 and you can see it respected it very very well much like the other majors so going into this week dxy is really going to be the definitive move but again uh if the dxy does break below 90 we can probably expect price to continue lower uh pushing into our 120 and maybe even coming lower 118.75 into those regions okay um and again if we wait uh and if dxy decides to break back above 90 we could even possibly see price gap um and then sort of double bottom and then push up okay and then above that what i'll wait for i'll wait a break for a break above this 121 uh 25 level a retest and then i will look to to then possibly long it out and again that would go back to my weekly analysis okay wanting to see it come back up into 123.75 and really i'd like to see it come back up to 125 so we would then long it up to 125 and then look to short back down with the with the overall trend so that is this week's weekly market breakdown no it is not uh cryptos everyone has been asking about cryptos so again uh on the weekly chart as you can see 
uh, Bitcoin, we did have this nice pullback. The 38 was 41, 42 region. That's why I said really last line of support. The next level is 35, right? So we go to 35, come all the way down to 30 on some on some whale uh, illegal activity. Um, and you can see all of these levels below. And like I said, if you look here, the level that we're at now, this 35 level, we need to hold above 30 grand because if we do not, okay, you can see that there's minor support here. Okay, these again, these are weekly candles, so you can see boom, 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 boom. Okay, so there's minor. And the next ones are at 10 grand. Maybe this resistance at 1250. Okay, because it's it's done in a few times. So maybe 125, but really 10 grand. Okay, so you've got you've got the all time high of 20, but if we break 30, we're either going 20, 12, or 10. Okay, so this is going to be a very very important key level in the Bitcoin dominance since all the FUD, the China FUD, right? Fear, um, uh, indecision, right? Stuff like that. It, the alts have have gone down in dominance and the BTC dominance has re-risen back up. So Bitcoin is going to be the one that leads the charge here. Now, a lot of these, again, I would love to see these continue to push. Okay, I'm, I myself am very, very invested in these things. So I would like to see them push as well. But 35 is really, well, really 30. We could see price push back down into 30 um into that region and such but we don't want we don't want we don't want that to happen okay we don't want that to happen so we would like to see price continue to push up hold this 35 level and then we'll continue back up in the 60 and if we break that we'll continue and create new all-time high 75 80 grand okay um this happens a lot you know a 40 50 percent correction uh this th this period after the halving okay so price usually drops a lot around tax season as well so a few of these things that happened I wasn't very very worried about until we did break that 42 level and that's when you know things start to heat up a little bit so what we have now again we are holding this level you can see price okay I had create when this wick happened and then all of this um, you know look for maybe a possible head and shoulders I wanted to see it come down here possibly to the shoulder does that um last night seven o'clock again i'm not re-entering i'm not hedging in positions bitcoin and cryptos i'll day trade them occasionally but really they are investments so i'm only entering in you know at these certain key levels they're already predetermined levels i've decided hey a price comes here i'm going to buy it eliminates the fear the the fud getting to me you know it eliminates risk i'm only risking what i'm willing to lose okay all of these different things so again what we could possibly see forming here uh which i would definitely if you're trying to intraday trade this i would definitely wait um until the pattern itself forms but we could be possibly seeing you know an hour a four hour maybe even you could consider it an eight hour uh, sort of head and shoulders pattern possibly forming here. So if we can get some very very nice price action um, And maybe get this day to close a little bit higher uh, Create a very very nice engulfing and then get a nice candle uh, on the day tomorrow as well uh, We we could see a lot uh, a lot of this price action again, you know if it if it starts to fall today This could literally just be because there is an indie indie 500 excuse me indy 500 race today and one of the cars at the literally at the front of the pack is a bitcoin car so if it wins maybe we go back to the moon okay if it crashes and burns in the race maybe it crashes and burns in real life again remember bitcoin cryptocurrencies law of sort of supply and demand so it's whatever we the people are willing to pay for a given currency okay so be mindful of that yes whales come into play because they hold a lot of the majority all of these different things but just realize crypto is the future okay there's a lot of things I've been seeing lately you know 43rd treasurer of the United States uh, ripples in a lawsuit she is now on the ripple board 
the Rothschild family, they own 9 to 10% stake of all Ripple in existence. You can now purchase precious metals such as gold and silver on a website using XRP. I won't name the website because I want to keep my little source a secret sometimes. But you can do that now. Okay, so there might be things going on that we don't know. Okay, I've tried to tell you all. I told you all to get into XRP, 16, 15 cents. If you listen, fantastic. I'll see you all on the moon. If not, you know, if, if 80, it's at 88 cents right now. If 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 XRP, you believe it's going to be worth $10 one day, 88 cents, anything below a dollar is great. Anything around a dollar would be great. So maybe you invest if it makes sense to you. If not, don't do it. Okay. Other than that, uh, again, you know, BTC is going to be a very, very important move. We'll, we'll look for the DXY pairs, the majors, to break out of their ranges this week. Look for some very nice breakout moves. Um, and hopefully the crypto market can uh, can see some sort of recovery. Okay. Um, everyone else, you know, if you if you would like to learn how I how I trade, how I create this analysis, how I teach many others how to trade. How we help them pass their FTMO and prop firm challenges, as well as become independent traders. Be sure to check out the links in the description. Be sure to give a like on the video. Subscribe if you haven't, so we can get out to other traders in the industry. Peace, love, have a happy Sunday. Happy uh, trading week, ladies and gentlemen, and have a good rest of your week.